In this video, you'll learn about two techniques that allow you to play more notes in the string section, divisi strings and double stopping. You'll also learn why sustained four note chords are impossible on an individual string instrument. If there are four string instruments split into five parts, first and second violins, violas, cellos and basses, then surely that means the biggest chord you can have is a five note chord, right? One note per section. Well, no. There are a couple of ways of creating fuller chords with more notes, namely divisi and double stopping. Now, again, if you're never planning to work with a full orchestra and doing all of this with samples, you might be wondering why you need to worry about this. It's all about realism. If you load up a sample library patch that has 18 violins and you play a three note chord with those violins, the sample library doesn't automatically split those 18 violins into three groups of six. It plays 18 violins on each note, 54 violins in total. Okay, let's start with double stops. A double stop is when the player plays two notes at once. The reason it's called a double stop is because usually two fingers are used to stop two separate strings. You can have double stops, triple stops, and even quadruple stops, where all four strings are played to form a chord. Importantly though, it's only really the double stop where notes can be played at a variety of dynamics simultaneously. Because the bridge of string instruments is curved, the bow can only play across two strings at a time, unless you push down extremely hard on the strings, in which case you can sometimes play three at once. That means triple stops can be played as a single chord on violin and viola, but expect it to be loud. Quadruple stops will always be arpeggiated from bottom to top, so bear in mind that you won't get a solid attack with quadruple stops. Quite often with orchestras, even if you direct them to play double stops, they'll still actually play divisi. And I'll explain what divisi is in a moment. There are a few reasons why they avoid double stops. Namely, that they're harder to play in tune, since the player has to get two notes in tune at the same time. They're harder to make sound as tonally full. And finally, getting in and out of a double stop isn't always easy unless it's been very well planned by the composer. Now, divisi. As you might have guessed from my hints, divisi is where a chord is split across the section. So if you have a two note chord in your violin part, half of the violins will play one note, while the other half play the second. Incidentally, for a two note chord, the players will split per desk, which means per stand. Usually two players share one music stand. So the default is that the player closest to the audience plays the top note, while the player on the inside, further from the audience, plays the lower note. Very broadly speaking, try to avoid having the first violins divide unless you really need the extra notes. Put any high register dividing on the second violins, also avoid divisi in the basses other than for octaves, or if you're really trying to create a low, muddy, crunchy sound. Don't expect to hear each note clearly though. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button for more music composition, production and industry tips. If you want to learn more about the string section, sign up to my free email video course by following the link in the description. And finally, let me know what else you'd like to learn about by leaving me a comment.